Most of us obviously have heard of these laws before, but it's always a good time to remind drivers exactly what to do when the kids head back to school. Just looking at what you can expect when it comes to bus passing. Really, I'm going to step out so you can get a better look at these graphics. If it's two lanes, directions both ways, all lanes have to stop. So that means drivers going both north, south, east and west, west, it doesn't matter. You all have to stop. If a school bus stops, puts out its stop sign and flashes its lights. For four lane highways or roadways, you do have pavement in the middle on a number of those that separates the directions. You still have to stop. Just like the previous example, all lanes of traffic must stop when the school bus stops. The only time the opposite direction can go is when you have some sort of type of barrier separating the two directions. Obviously, the drivers behind the school bus still have to stop, but those approaching from the opposite direction definitely need to slow down, but can proceed with caution. So those are some good things to remember. Obviously, when you see those yellow flashing lights and the posted school zone signs, slow down. Usually, most of those school zones, 20 miles per hour or less. So it's always good to remind folks, especially this time of year, exactly what's going on and how to behave when you get into those school zones.